You're back in the living room with the immensely talented Ben Mingay, who really puts the wonder in Wonderland. Oh. <laughs> now, you're our Chris for the week. So you've got very big shoes to fill, size 15 shoes. Seriously, they're whoppers. That man is part man, part penguin. Yeah. Uh, no, well, I mean, other than uh, shoe size, Dr Chris and I do actually have a bit in common. We're both not from Sydney. We both grew up in Newcastle on farms, so we have a lot to do with animals. So your story this week involved animals. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, it, it involved animals, so I'm doing my best Chris impression and I'm going to take you all out on safari. <laughs> Righto, I'm here on jungle assignment. I'm in for a wildlife experience like no other. I didn't have to fly 14 hours to get here, so let's rip into it. I'm in Canberra, and the wild animals here aren't just politicians. These guys are right at home at the National Zoo and Aquarium. And so is my guide, Ryan. The zoo spans 55 acres, so it's easy to forget you're only 10 minutes from the CBD. Visitors like me have the chance to play zookeeper for a day. So what's the plan here, Ryan? Can I hop in there, mate, and give these cheetahs a bit of a feed and a pat? What do you reckon? I reckon that is a good idea. Let's do it. Or at least it seemed like one. Come here, girl. Zingy. Watch your back, mate. <laughs> Come here, girl. Sit down. How fast can these little tuckers run? Nor to 102.7 seconds. So, no chance of escape should things go bad in here. No chance of escape. This unreal experience is called Meet a Cheetah, where anyone can get up close and personal to learn more about these big putty cats. I've got to say, it is such a beautiful, powerful animal, you can really feel the muscle. The cheetah's spots, are they unique to each animal? Like a fingerprint for us, every cheetah has different spots. And it's also very important for the camouflage as well. The coat is really soft too, it's, it's like a, it actually feels like a nice little rug. I probably shouldn't have said that. Right, I've been this one of our cheetah toys, mate. Grab this and run like an antelope. What, what if she catches me? Good luck with that. It's been nice knowing you. Run like the wind, man, run! Oh, <laughs> oh he's done it! I'm down! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> <laughs> I guess she's already had a lunch. Next up, feeding some hungry African painted dogs. Hey, boys! And a couple of friendly vegetarians. I'll give him a kiss up on the ear if you like. A kiss? You want me to give him a kiss? <laughs> oh, he kind of stinks. Yes, well, these guys, I should have told you beforehand, rub their feces over their faces. So, how does that make you feel? I'll give it you a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that movie star kiss has gotten me special access into the bear's lair. Ote is a sun bear. She's one of the most endangered animals in the world. OK, come to us from Cambodia. So she's been there for seven years now. The future's looking bright. The keepers here use click training to conduct regular checks on her paws and cheeks. Open. Touch. But now there's a new dentist in town. Are you ready? I'm ready. OK, ready? Open. <laughs> Open. Touch. Good girl. After all this excitement, it's time to freshen up too. Oh, we need <laughs> But with a few more creature comforts. The Jamala Wildlife Lodge is an exclusive overnight experience right in the heart of the zoo. And it's the perfect place to unwind. But... Ooh. You've got company. Your neighbours here are of the furry variety. Luckily, at least some, like Bacar, respect your privacy. I happen to be proud of my body. I kind of noticed you uh, had some whiskers there getting a bit long. Do you want me to give him a little trim? A little manscaping? Yeah? Boom. And it's easy to confuse who's here to see who. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Yes, he does. He may in not be a lion, jungle, but I'm sure this cool cat can appreciate a good tune. Tonight, up the octave, ready? Eat your heart out, Dr. Chris. In the jungle, the quiet jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Fine.
find that story incredible to go on safari and but it's all happening there pretty much in your pajamas it's like going on holidays with Hugh Hefner <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> how do the animals come there why do they choose to sleep next to your room well so what they do is they they, they don't force the animals to do anything they create a positive environment for the animals in this particular instance the the little pad the concrete pad with the straw on it the pad is actually heated so oh. when somebody goes into the uh, into the, the room they slide the gate open and the tiger goes oh well I like that pad because it's heated and there's that thing I can munch on the straw and somebody's probably going to be nude so that he heads in. <laughs> yeah. So it's all, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. How incredible. Yeah. Oh, you've probably done it before, cuddling up to a cougar. I, yeah, every now and then. <laughs> <I like that. laughs>